Hello and welcome to another episode of Fragments of Fragments with me, Lewis Kirk. Today, this is the final episode in my retreat series. So if this is the first one that you're coming across, be sure to check out um, the previous ones, whether on YouTube, uh, Facebook or WordPress. And all throughout the series, I've been speaking about an experience that I had at the end. And so in this episode, that's what I'm going to share with you, this, this experience. And before I get into my experience, I'm just going to speak about uh, just experience in general, um, in the sense of um, synchronicity. When I began um, looking into a lot of the, um, th this stuff and, and researching, many, many synchronicities would happen in the sense that I would hear something uh, in a lecture or a talk and then a few days later someone would mention the same thing and if you're aware of these things and you you're keeping an eye out for them they can almost become synchronous meaning that the thing on its own uh, the let's let's just take an example what would happen often a, a book I'd be hearing a talk and someone would mention a book and then a few days later or a week whenever it might be uh, someone would mention that same book and so these these two things uh, on their own uh, again uh, they don't seem too important but together if, if you if you connect them uh, it, it can become a synchronous a synchronicity another thing that um, you might have experienced is your you're talking to someone about another person and then the phone rings and then it's like, oh, whoa, synchronicity. Uh, there's many examples. Uh, I'm sure you've experienced at least uh, something like this in your life. Um, another word for it might be a, a, like an omen or um, coincidence, you know, all, all of these things. And so there's an aspect an element of this to my to my experience particularly at the end um, up until that point one could argue oh it's just it's just a coincidence it's just uh, you're just in in the right place at the right time but uh, at the end uh, even for me you know that the mind wants to doubt oh is it real is it significant because uh, that's what the mind does it wants to to bring a down on everything you know you try and you try and build yourself up and and be happy and positive and the mind's constantly doubting and nagging oh is it real is it going to be as good as that and uh, it's bit best not to listen to the mind to be honest um but my experience occurred i mentioned in the last video at the point where i decided that the retreat's over um, I, I've finished, uh, it's time to go now, I'm going to pack up and go and so I, I, I walked outside to just uh, clear up some rubbish and start tidying up some stuff, packing some stuff up and, and I noticed the, the swans which I've, um, again, which I've mentioned and they were, they were out on the lake and they, uh, they seemed to be heading in my direction and, and I didn't think much of it, again, uh, like I'm saying, synchronicity, it, it wasn't it wasn't amazing at that moment. It was just, oh look, the swans on the lake. They, uh, they seem to be coming this direction. Then I carried on doing my um, my packing away, ready to go home, and um, did all my business in inside the the camping pod. I I, I went outside, and they uh, they've come even closer. So now it's like, oh look, I want I wonder what's going on here. You know, it starts to starts to become, for me anyway, it started to become apparent that. That maybe something was was occurring, because uh, I was in this nice Zen spiritual state. From um, again, you, you can watch over the the other videos, but because of everything that had come before it, I was in a I was in a nice relaxed state. I was my, my mind was very still, and I and I wasn't being bombarded with all the the input and impressions that that come in daily life. And so, so now once they were coming closer and they're getting close to the bank, it was like. Oh, 
this is uh, this is interesting. Look, the swans are coming. So carried on doing my stuff, and 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 then then it got really weird, and the mind, like I say, the mind wants to pollute it and and just um, just take away what significance there might be. It wants to just poo poo it and say it's uh, it's it's not it's not for you or you're just it just. It's just a coincidence rather than a rather than a synchronicity. So so now they they've arrived and they they're coming out onto the bank, and so now it's like, what what what's going on? Then they proceeded to do a sort of um, I haven't looked into to what it is, and and they they started um, like a it, it it appeared to be a like a, a cleaning ritual almost a dance at certain points they were even uh, synchronizing the two swans were very synch synchronous in their movements almost uh, at certain points like for for seconds at a time doing exactly the same things um i've i've got some uh, imagery which you which you're you're seeing and um so then it's 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 um it's getting more and more interesting as as time's progressing, so I'd been doing a lot of uh, mantra practice throughout the retreat, and so internally, I um, I began um, doing some of that to myself, just almost just in appreciation to to this this spectacle that I'm viewing. No one else is around, and so whether the swans, again, you, you can argue the fact. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna lay it out there. Whether they're doing it for me are they who knows or whether they just normally come to the bank at that time every day to do their uh, little ritual you know who's to say i, I uh, i'm not all knowing i don't know i'm just sharing my experience with you but as i began to to intone the mantra silently to myself they um they like <laughs> they uh it got it got pretty weird at this point because they like almost like they could hear me doing it, like they they looked up like they could hear me, and and I've got my my phone now. I'm I'm taking it all in, and then they um, then they started they started coming towards me. I mean, you can see it here. That it's like, what are you saying? It's almost like if if you've been in a bar and someone's drunk and starting trouble, they're like they they're approaching me. You want some? What what, what are you saying? And they're, they're getting closer. And so I thought maybe there's something to it that I'm um, doing this mantra silently. Maybe, they, maybe they're maybe sensing it. And so they continued to uh, to approach. And now they... So I'm, I'm a bit... What's the word? I'm, I'm a little bit taken aback at this moment. Now they're coming right up to the... You know, I, th I thought it was... Uh, quite nice and an interesting experience that they've come onto the bank then they start doing their little uh, their dance their ritual but now they're they're actively like um approaching so i, I step back onto the um onto the uh, onto the porch and so they come right up as you can see and they they're just hanging around you know grazing and they go and they go and sit down but they they're here they it's almost like they've come and they've like the mind still wants to doubt it. My mind still wanted to be like, oh, this must be a coincidence. They just like to come up here. The grass must taste good. But the final, the final thing that removed any doubt was um, at this point, I, I'd pretty much packed everything away and I decided, um, yeah, let me, um, what I'll do is I'll, I, I've, I've not got them on. But I had some um, some prayer beads that I used to like to hold them to count the mantras, and so I said, "Let me, as my final like parting gesture to the um, the camping pod, to, to nature, to to the retreat, as my parting uh, as my parting swan song, let me um, let me let me do the mantra like um, more um, with more intent." Like I'll go out and I and I'll do it, and the swans are there, and and I'll do it um, at this moment. And so 
I made sure everything was ready so that I was ready to leave and that uh, this would be my, my parting gesture. I um, made sure everything was in order. I came out to, to begin to perform. I went to take the, um, um, the prayer beads off my neck and it, and it snapped. <laughs> At that moment, I went and it snapped. And now I'm like, whoa! <laughs> then... The, the synchronicity, the the energy almost was was too strong to de to deny that that this was just a coincidence, that there was no meaning to this. I couldn't, as much as I wanted to, at that moment when the bead snapped, there was no way I could just um, shrug it off as nothing. Then it became clear that this this means something. I don't know what it means. That it's meaningful. That it is and more than just there's got more going on than just the physical uh, swans coming out cleaning themselves coming to the um, to the camping pod there was definitely a spiritual aspect in that moment and so then i was really um, i was really like yeah shaken almost i was taken aback um it got really weird at that moment and so, yeah, I was I was like a, a bit shocked for for a good while. After that, just like in awe of everything, in in awe of the um, the view, in awe of of the beautiful swans and everything that I'd experienced over the few days. And as if, as if that was the 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 icing on the cake, the the ceiling. Um, to my retreat and now it's definitely over the swans finished what they were doing grazing and chilling out and then they they headed off back to the lake um, got in and then swam off and um, so then it was very clear that that it's finished. If I wanted any more from from my retreat, I'd be greedy, and I would um, I'd be asking too much maybe. But that really touched me, and I thought I would share it with you. This vlog I've started and the retreat series is has been my first series, and it's uh, it's ongoing. So you can go back and you can watch them all. And if you got anything out of um, this retreat series. Uh, or any of my previous vlogs, I've got a few now, be sure to like the Facebook page, uh, subscribe to YouTube if, you, uh, if you've got your YouTube account, and uh, keep your eyes open for, um, for the upcoming vlogs. I'm going to change direction a little bit with the next, um, the next few before uh, beginning another series. You can also find me on Instagram and Twitter if you use those social media. Um, also there's the WordPress blog which this is all grown out of uh, be sure to subscribe to that and yeah um, keep watching uh, be good and I'll see you next time for the next vlog take care bye